Scruffy Audio Network. Hey, welcome to Why Would You Go There, a podcast about travel where we do not talk about uh, the Tar Heels Sports. at all. Yeah. 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 So today we're talking about, what do you want to tell them we're talking about? We're talking about the best, our favorite five hotels that we've ever stayed five in. Five each. Yes. So there could be overlap. Yes. Now, I, I am going to say that there probably will be overlap. I hope so. Uh, but yeah, this is just a, why would you go there vignette about great this hotels. <laughs> so what makes a great hotel? Uh, gosh, For you. it can be so many different things, but I, you know what's interesting is I love hotels. I, I just love staying no, in hotels. I, that is not interesting at yeah. all. But I don't like to pay a lot for hotels. So a lot of times I'll end up using points, that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, but what makes a great hotel for me is, um, you know, obviously you want like a nice room, but I want I want uh, people with personality that kind of are Do you get staff. people with your hotels? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, staff, you know, you want them to treat you well. Uh, and uh, Yeah, that can I, break a, a hotel. It can't make a hotel for me, but it can definitely break a hotel. Yeah. Uh, so and I, it's hard. I, there's there's a ton of things to go for me. It might be scenery, uh, the view Very has true. a lot to do with it. Uh, amenities for mm-hmm. my wife. Uh, a great hotel is a hotel that has coffee in the room. <laughs> so if, it could, yeah. if a Motel Six wants to be rated a great hotel for my wife, you just put coffee in the room. No doubt. And it doesn't matter how great the room is. If it doesn't have coffee in it, she is not happy. <laughs> That's what's interesting is the room. I feel like I feel like it's a little difficult to really separate, you know, from other rooms. I mean, you can. Don't yeah. get me wrong, but most rooms are fairly standard. So I think it's more about the the other aspects of the hotel that kind of separate it for me. I mean, a, a a nice room itself can still be a nice room, but it, it makes more of the like you said, the amenities of the hotel, the staff, yeah, uh, location, yeah, uh, all that views. stuff. Yeah. yeah, location has a lot to do with it. So, and actually, all of these are in pretty good locations that are my top five. Why don't you start with uh, number five for you? All right, I want to give a couple honorable mentions. I know you love because I'm breaking oh the rules gosh. and I'm doing more than five. Uh, Your honorable mentions may, better not be in my top five. Uh, I'll well, be they're not, so mad because I don't think that you've been to. Well, you. you yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh, so Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas, love that hotel. The Hilton Athens in Greece. And then we've talked about this one before, the Hilton Waikoloa Village in Hawaii. Oh, yeah. Uh, so Yeah, we talked about that pretty recently. All those are great hotels, and that Hilton Waikoloa Village is literally a village. So if you ever get an opportunity to stay there, stay there. The reason it didn't make it in my top five is because it doesn't really have like easy beach access. And in Hawaii, you want easy beach sure. access. Sure, sure. Okay. But I like that you mentioned Manly Bay because I've, I've told my wife we need to stay there. You there. should. You should. Uh, and part of the reason that I like it that some people might not like it is it's kind of at the end of the strip, so it's a little more quiet, a little more quaint down there. Uh, some people don't like that. They want to be in the hustle and bustle of the middle of the strip. Okay, what's number five? Actually, All right. number five. Number five, the Fitzgerald Waterford, Waterford Castle in Ireland. Okay, something I had never heard of. Yeah, so why is it number five? Why is it on my list? Because it's a castle. It's a beautiful castle. Uh, you know, the, some of the rooms are kind of what you would expect in a castle. You know, they're very elegant. Um, but they are it, – it, the outside is just incredible. It looks exactly like what you want a little, wow. an old majestic castle really? to look like. Yeah. Okay, very cool. And it has like the, the – I know you love this, like the, the greenery kind of growing on the side oh, of the yeah. castle. Yeah, I yeah. do love that. So, yeah. yeah very, very northern European. So, yeah. anything else you want to ask me about that one? I know we're kind of doing this kind of fast. Yeah, yeah. This is just a, it's just a vignette. It's, it's just, stumpy, yeah. yeah. I got gotcha. you. Uh, so, what's your five? Uh, Top, your number five. Yeah, number five. Uh, very similar to that. It's the Weston Times Square. Oh, yeah. That's exactly <laughs> – yeah. It has nothing growing on the side except nice. for – I think they – they grow monitors on the side, uh, like <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like true. TV screens. If you just true. plant a small TV screen, pretty yeah. soon it'll be a uh, giant in Times Square. Uh, so you can apparently see, they obviously. have the best they have the best soil for for growing monitors. <laughs> uh, yeah, so from from that west, and it's right there on the corner, and you can uh, you can see the, all the big marquees in Times Square. Uh, it is interesting and a great. It's, it has great access to. To uh, Times Square, but you have to have it has these uh, 
It's a very nice hotel, but it has these shutters that completely the curtains that black everything out, oh, which yeah. you have to have if yeah. you're staying on Times Square. Can't, so uh, could you hear outside? Couldn't hear anything. That's could not that's hear anything from in there. But if you opened up, it was like okay, it's a nice, quiet. Nice hotel. There's coffee in the room, so my wife was happy about that. Uh, and then if you just open up those blackout curtains, you're like, whoa, it is daytime and it's 3 o'clock in the morning uh, because there's just so much light out there. That's awesome. What about number four? Yeah, so number four is along with the Las Vegas hotels. This is, might surprise you a little bit. I've actually got kind of a two-fold tie here, Bellagio and Venetian. So Venetian's my number four. Really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice job. Yeah. I. I we are uh, so in sync. We really are. Uh, so I'll let you talk about the Venetian, then, okay. and I'll talk about the Bellagio. That's interesting how that worked out. Uh, so the Bellagio, it's just a huge, massive hotel. It's got those um, the fountains out front, which I absolutely I do love. Those love. Too. I don't know why, but I just am amazed by those. Uh, it, it's almost like it mesmerizes me, and I could just stand there and watch those all day. Uh, but the hotel itself, like the room is super nice. Um, it's another one that's kind of, uh, elegant, you know, I mean, yeah, it, it, it has, is, it yeah. is elegant. Yeah. It's an old, um, old world kind of, uh, Italy elegant. Yes. And the, and the Venetian is a little bit like that too. Yeah. 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 I, 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 yes, it is. I like the Venetian because, uh, not only is the hotel beautiful and we had an out facing room with this giant shower, uh, that, uh, faced – obviously nobody can see in unless they're at some hotel down the way with binoculars. But yeah. the, the, it's just a glass <laughs> shower that's right up against uh, the outside w- wall and the outside window. Oh, so that, yeah. it's, it, it's, it was massive. It's very nice shower. Uh, I mean it was almost like the size of a regular hotel room the shower was. And then you go down into the lobby and walk out. There's a whole mall right there at, You know that – the Venetian connects through this mall to oh, Paris, yeah. and then right in the middle of the of the uh, mall is the whole gondola ride thing that you can do. So they have yes. a whole river inside the hotel. I love the ceiling in there too. Yeah, it's, so it's painted. It looks like the, sky. the clouds. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. great. Uh, in in the Bellagio, probably similar to the Venetian. I don't remember, but the Bellagio had a window that lined basically the whole wall, so you could just open these curtains, and it was. Bigger than your normal window, so it's kind of cool. So you could see the strip, and uh, yeah. yeah, so beautiful view from from that hotel for sure. Uh, what about your number three? Okay, so this one's out there, and now we're starting to get into a little bit of the Hiltons, you know, because you and I are kind of yeah. Hilton people. Sure. Uh, and this is the Conrad Hotel in Tokyo, the Conrad Tokyo. Never been to Tokyo, so and I've never stayed at a Conrad. Yeah, so you, you know. Asians are known for being pretty, I guess, meticulous about things, and uh, and that's exactly what this is. It seemed like everything was just so well placed in the hotel, and um, you know, yeah, it, everything cool. had a, a significant meaning for what it was there for, uh, in the colors and all that stuff, you know. And and, I, and I'm sure all hotels have that, right. but it just seems like it Very was just so much more, and all that yeah, kind of stuff, inspired yeah. uh, Asian Asian theme, and uh, it had a Super nice bathroom, and uh, it was just yeah. I mean, it will. I, I need to find some pictures so we can post a few with oh, this, yeah. with this Definitely. stumpy. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it was great. It was right <laughs> in in uh, Tokyo, and it offered some really nice scenery. But yeah, it was uh, outside of the restaurants and stuff, kind of like the Las Vegas hotels. Man, it was. Just the room itself was one of my more favorite rooms that we've ever had. Okay, had a it had a huge tub in there, and then it had a sh- walk-in shower also. Uh, yeah, it, it was nice. You're gonna have to fly uh, a little bit shorter flight to get to the okay. to my number three, which is the Park Plaza Westminster Bridge London Hotel. Oh yeah. yeah so uh, that hotel is. Kind of what we were talking about, how some things will make up the difference for others. The hotel itself was fine. It was, it was pretty. It had a nice, had a good bed. It was, it was kind of modern. Uh, but nothing that you, if you had taken that hotel and you had placed it, uh, in Knoxville, Tennessee, Mm -hmm. you'd be like, okay, it's a nice hotel. Yeah. It's not anything major. But from where we sat, you can see it's it's one of the few hotels that has a direct view of Big Ben. So oh, yeah. from our room, we had a view of Big Ben and of uh, Parliament. 
Yeah. So and the and the Millennial Bridge right there, is, or is that the Westminster Bridge? It's what, what's Westminster Bridge? Yeah. So we had a view of all of that. So that made it was just like you walk in and pull those curtains up, and you're like, wow, this yeah. is incredible. That made that that stay uh, my number three hotel, and we stayed there for a couple of nights, and it was it was really amazing. Okay. Yeah. What about right. number two? Number two for me. Uh, we've talked about this one before. The Conrad Maldives, uh, oh, yeah, you have Island. About that. Yeah, so that goes along with it. So the the hotel itself is nice. You know, it's 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 one story, right? I mean, it's not it, it's on an island. It's not like it's a building that's fifty stories high, like a few of these other ones that we may have mentioned. Uh, but it it's it's literally just. Um, some over the water bungalows, some villas kind of tucked back into the beach, and it's got all this greenery surrounding these villas, so people can't really see in that well, but you can still kind of see out. And they all have these little walking paths uh, that take you to your room, uh, and yeah, it's all of it. sand. It looks really nice. And uh, what's what's great about it is they. Well, I don't know if it's that great, but I think it's kind of cool that. You know, you, you leave these feet, these footprints and stuff, and then you wake up in the morning, and they've cleaned them all. Oh, <laughs> you yeah. know, they come in and rake yeah, cool. all the sand, like, all the Every time night. At, in the, at night yeah. and in the morning. And uh, it's just a phenomenal hotel. Uh, it has the best view of water I think I've ever seen. And then not only that, but the villas, which is kind of their standard rooms, are just huge. I mean, they're they're like... 1500 square feet I, I should have looked it up before i came but but they're they're over a thousand square feet i'm pretty sure uh so they're probably like 12 or 1500 square feet and that's just so big and one thing i love about it is you have you know your your living area you know you've got a refrigerator that kind of thing uh and then it's you kind of walk outdoors uh to get to your sinks and to your uh, oh yeah, kind of like half out, outside, yeah. and then your shower is outside oh, as well. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. That's very nice. Uh, yeah. And love uh, an outdoor shower. Yeah, and then it has a a little hot tub uh, slash jacuzzi, you know, tub slash out there soap too. poke. <laughs> 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 oh man! Oh man! Uh, but yeah, so that's that's my number two. And again, I you know I'm just hitting on the rooms itself. I'm not even talking about kind of the the you're hitting on something. You're yeah. hitting on something with that. <laughs> Man, where is my sound effects? Yes, Dang it, I, I miss so those glad so you bad. Don't have those. Yeah. Well, I need yeah. I need to roar at the crowd. Ben's not even laughing over there. He's like, oh. yeah, he's, he's over asleep. there checking social media. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that's my number two. And again, if I could recommend, that's probably the most expensive hotel I've ever stayed at. And, and, and probably expensive for that, to get there too. It is very expensive to get there, but I, I wouldn't change it for anything. Yeah. Again, a, a because it keeps the riff raff out. Hotel definitely yeah. does. Yes. Okay. Uh, number two for me, and I'm a little bit shocked that this didn't make your top five. Okay. Uh, is the Cosmopolitan okay. in Vegas? How did that not make your top five? I know it's not number one, is it? Do you know? Oh, yeah, do you do you really want to know why it didn't make my top five? Yeah, it's too much for me. It, it's so the it's reason you, you love want. it. The reason you yeah, love you, it. It smacks you in the face as soon as you walk in there. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So it, it is an incredibly nice hotel. Yeah, it is. It the is. rooms are great, but everything that I've mentioned. Is more like Relaxing. subtle and quiet. Oh, no. This isn't subtle uh, at all. I mean, you walk in, they have these giant, first of all, the lobby that you, where you check in is massive, and it's, they have these giant uh, screens that are like the columns that are surrounded <laughs> by screens, and it looks like something's going on inside those columns yeah. because there's projection from the inside. So sometimes they have uh, the shadows of naked people clawing their way through those screens. Sometimes it's like just books. And pictures of books, uh, you know, there's jellyfish. You remember saying that? They had like five or six mm-hmm. different scenes that they would go through. And, I mean, it's hard to describe. Uh, I, I'm going to find a, a picture of it and post some. Uh, but they have these crazy scenes that are going on. So there's that. And then right at the end of this lobby is a, a bar. And then there's the casino. And you <laughs> ching, 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 you ching, 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 ching. So all of this stuff is going on. It's like, wow, this is incredible. They have... Uh, great food. They had, have maybe the best buffet that I've ever had. It, it, that uh, is true. Had a, have an incredible buffet. They have a, a, so many restaurants there. Just the whole whole hotel is 
great. And then you have the room to boot. And if – like the last time we were there, if you have like we had uh, a view that uh, – where you can see the strip and you can watch the Bellagio fountains from our room, which was just incredible. We had separate rooms, but we yes. each had that view, I should say. Yes, we did. Thanks for clarifying we had separate rooms. So <laughs> S- I, Same I, bed. We, I mean, we, we shared. <laughs> no, uh, but separate no, we rooms. didn't. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I want to elaborate on it just a little bit. Yeah, please. So it is an extremely nice hotel. I, I, you know, I don't want to take anything away from it being your, your second best hotel because it is incredibly nice. But – it is. It's like overwhelming to me a little bit. Uh, and I know you like that big red high heel s- slipper that's like eight feet oh, tall. Oh, yeah. And- <laughs> this is all incredible. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it's 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 very posh. It's very uh, contemporary, modern. It is contemporary. Um, but I will say this. If we were rating off of best views from a hotel room – or best rooms themselves, it probably would be. It definitely be my top five. It'd probably be my number one in both of those categories. Uh, so I, I don't want to take anything away from it. it okay, is, well that's it nice. Is a super nice yeah. hotel. Yeah. Uh, so give me number one. All right. Uh, maybe we might be the same on this. I don't know. The is Rome it, Cavaliari. The Wall of Astoria. In in Rome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah is we, that we yours? are now. It is now. Okay. It is. Uh, oh and man, I'm so excited. If I had to rate. Uh, just on room, it's kind of the opposite of what you just said. Okay. It, it, it would yeah. be the same thing you just said. It would be uh, just the room is great, beautiful, but you can get that at the Venetian and you can get that at the Bellagio. And there's a lot of places that you can get an incredible room. It's the experience. You have this beautiful room, this breathtaking view of Rome. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I mean – all of the rooms have – You can see the Vatican. You yeah, can I can see, see the, the Colosseum. Yep. Uh, all of the rooms have big balconies, and so they're, they've got this huge balcony you can go out and sit on and look at the view, and, oh, man, it is, it's incredible. Plus, Turkish bath, yeah. sauna, everything. That's the big thing. So that, you know, that's been rated uh, top five in Europe's best, uh, best spas, uh, you know, a few times we've seen that, yeah. and and so the I agree with that. The grounds are phenomenal. Um, everything is just so decadent. It seems like, and um, the uh, the like the tapestries, the paintings, the sculptures that they just have around. I mean, it, it feels like you're in a museum. Yeah, uh, when you just roam the halls, yeah, huge, massive paintings yeah. that are three hundred years old in the lobby. Yeah, and I mean these paintings are like the size of a billboard. Some of them. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, incredible. they're spa, and like you mentioned, the view. The they grounds. treat you. You talk about being treated well. Mm-hmm. They go crazy to treat you well. I mean, I guess they know that okay, this is this hotel is more expensive than most people are going to be able to afford. Yeah. We, we would only have paid for it with points. Yeah. We were not going to pay five hundred something dollars a night. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we use points to do it, uh, but. But if it was you worth check every in, point. yeah, it was worth the points. When you check in, from the second you check in, they are all about trying to. I give you one example. Uh, I was trying to f- cash a fifty euro note, mm-hmm. and uh, the guy, the the concierge said, "Yeah, I don't have change for fifty. He stopped what he was doing and went and found and got like we, he. Had me follow him outside, and he he had twenty euros, and then somebody else had ten euros, and somebody else had five euros, and he just started collecting all this money from all these other people because they're going to get this customer satisfied, yeah, no, no matter doubt. what, uh, and you know, then the spa, everything else, it was just really incredible. The views, uh, the food was great, and you know, the breakfast was included. So that yeah, was, the breakfast, yeah, that yeah, yeah we I mean, can talk about that for a few minutes. Yeah, I mean, we're not we going to, to. No, but. we need to do best hotel breakfast podcast oh, at some point. Man. Because it's going to be on the list. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it's beautiful. And the little monument park with the statues of the lions. Yep. Did you see that? Yep. Yeah. So it, tennis yeah, courts. Every, everything about it, yeah, is, is – and you got to go watch some people play tennis. I, yeah. It was great because I walked out there and, you know, you hear the – when real tennis players are playing, you know, they, you hear the hear – the, hit of the ball and the grunt at the same time uh, and, the grunt, and then it was great because you knew they were Italian because like seconds later so they, you'd hear that uh, and the, and the ping of the ball and then uh, yeah, 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 and just cussing each other <laughs> that's great yeah, that was my Italian song yeah, I love it that was really good uh, but yeah so, so those are, those are the, uh, the our each five best hotels 
Man, I am very happy with this. And I and I look back at these hotels and I just kind of think about how fortunate I am to be able to stay at many of these. Yeah, and they're just for sure. There yeah. are some we live phenomenal. Lives. Yeah, we there are some phenomenal hotels that we didn't even put, you know, on here. I mean, there's there's ones that we've stayed at in random cities like uh, like Atlanta or somewhere. And maybe Boston. if it was in yeah, and yeah. maybe if it was in London or Rome, that same hotel, we'd probably say, okay, this this yep, this is gonna sure. take the cake for sure. Uh, so yeah, all right. Um, well, this has been a why would you go there vignette? I think we're done. You have anything anything final to add, real quick, before we go? Because this is supposed to be short, and we've talked about this for longer than we expected. Nope, loved it. This was right. one of my favorite. Cue the music, ones. Ben. It's yeah. better to go someplace that you hate than to not go anywhere at all. Yeah. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Why Would You Go There, and at Twitter at Why Would You Go. That's the thing. It's interesting that we had. Three Vegas hotels between yeah. the yeah. between the.